going to be using the Springfield EMP uh, 9 millimeter, and just to show you, it's empty. Magazine's gone. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Sun's Guns and Buns. Today we're going to go over the uh, different types of holsters you can get um, that are all out there on the market right now and the pros and cons to these. So we're going to start with the Urban Carry. This is uh, one of the more popular asked about ones right now and um, it's kind of a mystery when you look at it. So how this bad boy works is this actually goes inside next to your body. So this is next to your body here. This goes into your, your belt goes in that slot there. Gun slides in the pocket, magnet to hold it together. The idea is you've got your, this, your belt in here. When you need it, you grab, unmagnetize, slip that puppy out and it exposes your gun and grab the gun. Okay. The problem with this is that it, if, I mean, it's super bulky and um, if, you, if you're wearing clothes that actually fit you, you're going to have a hard time getting it out. Uh, there's a lot of struggle and um, you have to wear clothes that are basically three sizes too big for you to actually get it to work. So we've tried it many times, just is a pain, not functional, total gimmick. The videos that they have on their websites are awesome, make it look uh, much easier than it is. It's not that easy. So this is probably my least favorite. Okay, the next least favorite is this Black Hawk here. Very simple, very basic. It's meant to be worn inside uh, your waistband kind of a sticky material. It's not uh, sticky to the touch, but it's meant to grip against your clothes. Uh, kind of like a non-skid material. Um, but the problem is when it rubs against your skin at all, it gives you kind of like a rug burn and not in the fun way. So I modified it, took one of my bikini inserts and so and it helped a little bit. This is really soft and this is very uncomfortable. So this one is crap. Uh, the next least favorite is the Alien Gear holster. It is infinitely adjustable. You can adjust the height, you can adjust the cant, uh, but as you can see, it's quite bulky. It is well made and it has this nice soft back into it. Uh, for me personally, it's very bulky to be an appendix uh, holster and not flexible enough to be on my side. And then if I wanted to wear it on my back, uh, when you sit down or you're driving, it's just in your way, it digs into your back. So this one is a pain. It, uh, it's a great concept well built, but it's you really have to be committed to this one to want to use this as your everyday carry. Next one is the last inside the waistband holster I'm going to show you. This is a Versa Carry. It's super small, super basic, very lightweight. Uh, I'll show you how this one works. You just slip it right through the barrel. Get it over your belt, and there you go. It's almost like you're not wearing a holster at all. Problem is, against your skin, there's no protection for hammer, the hammer. safety, the grips, all of that stuff's just gonna be against your body, very uncomfortable. The other problem is that it's not very easy to get it back in there. I got it. So that, that's kind of not very functional for me. Yeah. 
Springfield EMP 9mm. And just to show you, if you can see that in the camera, it's empty. It's not loaded. No magazine. Okay. So the first holster I'm going to show you today is the Blackhawk Close Quarter Combat Holster. The pros of this one is that it has a retention button. So when you have your gun in, it clicks into there and then it has this button here. I modified it with a non-skid little sticky thing there so that I could actually find it because when you're wearing it, it's hard to figure out where it's at. So once you find it, you push that in to release the gun from the holster. Okay, so how this works is this goes on the inside of your waistband. This goes on the outside over your belt. So let me take it out and show you. And you wear it on your hip. And this is meant to be worn for open carry if you're at the range or in a state where you can have open carry. Okay, another good thing about wearing this holster is the gun is very secure. So if you're out in public, you have, you know, a, someone criminal mind comes up, wants to take it out of your holster and take it from you, they can't. It is attached to you unless they know what it is and where that button is, how to get it out quickly. Uh, it's very secure. Next we have the Springfield Outside the Waistband holster. This came with the EMP. So it was free, and it's similar to this one, but this has the retention button. This has a retention screw, so you can tighten it to adjust to your gun. Um, this one's nice for the range again, but what I don't like about this one is once you do have it on, get that all the way down there, and it snaps in like you heard that little snap, it actually comes out much easier. That one has the little button. You have to push the button, obviously, to get it out. But it is still fairly secure. But it sticks out, again, off your hip quite a bit. So you'd have to, you know, have some baggier clothes on if you wanted to conceal it. Last but not least, out of all of the holsters I've showed you today, this is the winner. Okay, this is my everyday carry, and this is a Blade Tech. What I like about this is it's thin. Okay, it's contoured to where on your hip here, you put your belt lips through there, so you can see how it's flush up against my body. And it has all of this here to protect your body from all the hardware on your gun. Okay, so I can bend over, it's not digging into me. I can move around, it still goes with me. And it doesn't stick out really far from my body when I actually have it on. So I feel like it's actually kind of sometimes not even there, which is really nice. Okay, so if you are going to carry a firearm daily, you need to always have an extra magazine with you. This is my little magazine holder here. It's called a snag mag. Okay, and this little hook here will actually snag on your pants when you take the magazine out so that this won't come flying out with it. This is for a right-handed shooter it will not work for you if you're a left-handed shooter. So if you tried to put it in here, you can see it's going to be actually facing the wrong way. So if you went to take that out and put it in your gun, you, it's facing the wrong way. Okay. So for me, I'll put it in the right way. <laughs> and once it's in there, I can get it out and it's facing the right way. And this will not come flying out with it. All right, well hopefully the information I've given you today will help you select your everyday carry holster, uh, whether you're gonna be carrying inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Uh, I hope I've given you a pretty good idea of the pros and cons and functionality of all of these holsters. Thanks for watching.